Hey guys, Eric here with Eric's Fragrance Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rosasi's Pour Lou Zebra. I think it's called, I don't know what, I think the name is Pour Lou, but a lot, everyone calls it Zebra pretty much. I'm going to be giving you a review on this, so let's get into the video. So here's the box to Rosasi's Pour Lou, but I just call it Zebra, and this is a Eau de Parfum, and here's the box pretty cool box uh, it feels uh like it's got like a texture kind of like a you can see right here it looks like it's wood and then it feels like it too so it's a pretty neat box all of this texturized it doesn't feel that cheap but it's it's all right for the box and then uh here's the here's the fragrance itself so there it is it's got the zebra on the front and the back and then this is textured so feels pretty cool pretty neat bottle top it says Rasasi in the white and then bottom just says a concentration and batch code cap is on there decent it clips into place you can hear it and there's the atomizer it's pretty different pretty unique so let's give it a spray let's spray this one right here this is pretty much a clone of Aventus, but it's a really high quality clone because the uh, performance and longevity is pretty strong on this one. You could easily get eight to nine hours with this. And let's see the opening. Oh yeah, really fruity Aventus, like uh, probably the newer batches. Man, it smells really, yeah, really good, really fruity, citrusy. Smell the bergamot. You don't really get the pineapple. It's more of a lemony, lemony lime opening, I guess. And yeah, with a little bit of musk in the back, and the woody from Aventus. Pretty much the Aventus DNA in the back. But man, that opening is really good. This is a really close clone. This, I got this not too long ago, and it's it went up to like uh, one of my favorite Aventus clones right here. I have Aventus, but when I don't want to waste it, like let's say I want to smell like Aventus and I'm going out just to get some groceries or something, I'll just spray this and you can go heavy too, but you don't need to, this stuff. And it performs. And yeah, it opens up really fruity. Dry down kind of stays fruity. It doesn't really go into that musky old Aventus batches, like the heavy birch batches. This just stays fruity. But yeah, it smells really good. Right now you get the, the citrus opening. And this is a EDP, so it lasts quite a bit. I mean, it projects for about three hours, a solid three hours of projection, and then like eight to nine hours on my skin, like of just a skin set. And this was created in, it was launched in 2013, so it's been out for a minute. I'm surprised it's not like as hyped as Club de Nuit. But then again, this is more expensive. Club de Nuit's more affordable. I think I paid uh, I want to say 35 to 40 dollars for this and it's uh, there's only a 50 mil so it's it's kind of pricey I mean you're paying almost a dollar per milliliter which if you get a decant of Aventus I think you could get it for that much so I'm not sure if it's worth buying this or just spending an extra 70 or 50 to get a like a 50 mil decant of the real Aventus but I mean, it's a really solid clone. Like, it is, it's Rosasi, so you know it's, it lasts long. I got a lot of Rosasis, and these these perform really good. A lot of them smell unique, but then there's a lot that are clones. But, yeah, this one, really fruity still. Man, just smells amazing. All right, and top notes for this. It has pineapple, lime, lemon, bergamot black pepper plum and pear so yeah that's really citrusy maybe that's why it stays fruity i feel like it doesn't really go that musky route it just stays like like the opening just really fruity really bright aventus with and then it has middle notes of uh jasmine freesia and lily of the valley with base notes of ambergris cedar leather musk oak moss and patchouli so notes are pretty similar to the aventus 
the original Aventus, and uh, the pineapple, it is there, but it's not like, uh, like Rue broke us, are you serious, how it's just like a pineapple blast, this one's more like citrusy, so it's, it's pineapple, but like you get the lime and the lemon in there, so it's, it does its own thing, I feel like. It's a bit more more citrusy of Entis Batch. And dry down, it's pretty much pretty much the same thing as Aventus. It dries down, like, I want to say 95% similar. But the opening is, uh, it's really close also. I want to say opening is, like, 85% close to, like, the real Aventus. But, man, this stuff is pretty damn good. And as far as when to wear this, you can wear this anywhere. Just uh, in the high heat, I don't know if it works because it's pretty strong. So it's it's going to get a little cloying. With them. But it does smell really good. This will get you compliments. Um, you can wear this to the office. Just go light. If you go to the gym, also do like maybe two sprays and you'll be good for a couple hours. And if you spray your clothes, this is going to last like 12 to 20 hours like this stuff. It's it has lasting power, so I see why the price is up there. Overall, I think I'm gonna give Rasasi Zebra. I want to say a 9.5 out of 10. This stuff is it's pretty damn good. It's, it gets you the compliments. It'll put you in that event. It's, it'll give you that vibe, pretty much. Lasting powers there. Uh, versatility's there. Uh, Price is decent. I think that's why I'm knocking off the 0.5 because of the price. It's kind of pricey. I mean, for a 50 mil, you're paying 40 to 45 dollars. So, but it does smell good. It is similar. It's really close to the Aventus, and uh, it's just a good fragrance right here to have. If, so, if you love that Aventus DNA, I recommend you. I highly recommend you get this. Like, you need to have this in your collection. Especially if you don't want to run through your whole Aventus bottle. Like you just want to wear Aventus every day. I suggest you get this. And it also doesn't have that Club de Nuit, that harsh opening. This one's a lot more smoother. So yeah guys, uh, Rasasi Zebra, solid clone. 9.5 out of 10. This is going to do you good. And uh, I recommend you guys try it out. Kind of pricey, but I mean in the end it lasts, so it's worth it. It performs too, so. So yeah guys, Eric here with Eric's Fragrance Reviews. And uh, my scent of the day today is a uh, Jimmy Choo Man Urban Hero. I've been wearing that all morning and uh, I still smell it. It dries down to a really peppery smell. I like it a lot. So yeah guys, Eric here with Eric's Fragrance Reviews. And I'm out.